Hi guys, it's Jacob from StringBuzz here. StringBuzzWorld.org being the music journalism site. Links are in the description down below. And we have a brand new song review for you today. And it's the latest track by Liam Gallagher and that's Chinatown. So I'm going to refer to the original article as I usually do for these videos. So I hope you enjoy. Now Liam is usually painted as a very ugly figure within the media. And it's been that way since, you know, Oasis first started. But as far as I'm concerned, we need many more Liams in the music industry today. I actually admire this guy. The biggest feud and beef we have within the music industry right at this moment is Taylor Swift's ongoing argument with Katy Perry about bloody background dancers. That's the best we can do. And yet Liam once said, you know, just as like an off-guarded comment, just randomly to like the NME, he said like, he reminds me of effing right said Fred, uh, you know, the guy who did I'm Too Sexy for My Effing Shirt and all those records. And I can bet you it, any money it's the same person. And he was talking about the singer of Franz Ferdinand when he said that. Never had anything to do with Franz Ferdinand, just decided to just take the mick out of him. He said a load of stuff about One Direction as well. Said he didn't look at the other people performing at Glastonbury because he was too busy watching Love Island. I've got to admire that in a figure. So anyways, let's get back onto the music. Shall we see what I thought of this brand new track? Well, I thought it was pretty darn good. And actually, it's one of the best vocal performances we've had in years by Liam. The chord progressions are memorable and catchy. The hook is also well refined and well executed. The song is simplistic, but in a way that doesn't gloss itself up too much you know remaining very pure and very concentrated throughout and the track is just a really concentrated and professional outing for Liam actually sure I will admit that the lyrics are a little bit up and downy I guess you have some immensely clever lines followed by lines that would be uh, typically read by perhaps a preschooler but in the end it all sort of balanced itself out fairly nicely so I will insist though that this is the best track I've heard from Liam post Oasis better than anything he produced with BDI so that's definitely a good thing. Production wise there is a fair bit going on here and it definitely has this sort of retro John Lennon like feel. I know that sounds a like a generic comment but it definitely did actually. We have these very obviously dual panned vocals with a fair bit of reverb placed over the top making his voice sound somewhat haunting yet also strangely nostalgic as well. It does sound like a throwback to the 70s style of mixing. The acoustic guitar sounds absolutely gorgeous within this track remaining completely untampered with in this mix sounding both twangy as well as is just plain mouth watering I guess is the best way of putting it we have this sort of slow kick beat at the background of the mix so that sort of fills the low ground adequately really nicely with this pulsating bassy sort of thump we didn't have too much cymbal work in here so I can't really comment on that but anyway the sound wall was just thick and just really juicy there isn't much you can really complain about here and like I said it's just like a 70s sort of mix translated into the modern day uh, using sort of modern day equipment and I love that approach when it comes to the musicality of this track, it's actually fairly simple. And I think that's what makes it seem a little bit more genuine, a little bit less sort of glamorized, I guess. The fingerpick guitar is catchy and the chord progressions are memorable and relaxing as well. The pulse of the kick drum never becomes repetitive, which is actually easier said than done, but instead adds a little bit of meat into the mix, which was sorely needed, I thought. The vocal performance is actually really strong. It's, uh, it sort of utilizes Liam's sort of natural tone much better than what we heard on, say, a lot of the BDI sort of tracks and again there isn't too much to complain about here. Sure the song form is a little bit too basic but at least we've got a proper bridge this time around to break things up first time of asking and it actually sounded wonderful too. Lyrically, as I've already said, the track is a little bit of a mixed bag, I guess, since the themes are a touch muddied by lines that sound much more like they're there just to uh, rhyme rather than actually adding too much to the original theme. However, there are a couple of gems thrown in throughout the runtime here with a couple of really decent sort of wordplay and, and just, just some clever metaphors, which I really enjoyed. So all in all, I think it's a great track that fans will definitely enjoy. And I think casual followers will probably like this track as well. It does sound uh, very sort of well Oasis like a bit like an old track dare I say it so I gave it a G rating of 8 out of 10 so if you like this video then please leave a like subscribe to see more and I'll see you around next time bye bye